So this question asks, is 0.36 a perfect square? If it is, draw a square to represent the area and indicate the side length. So first of all, we have to determine if 0.36 is a perfect square. And the way we can do that is to find its square root and see if it is a rational number. Or we could find a number which, when multiplied by itself, equals 0 0.36. So it's probably just as easy to find the square root of 0 0.36, or 36 hundredths. So the square root of 0 0.36. And again, you can use your calculator to determine what the square root of this is. And it turns out that it's 0 0.6. So that is a rational number because it can be represented as a fraction or a repeating or terminating decimal. In this case, it's a terminating decimal because it doesn't go on forever. And we could test that out by seeing if when we multiply 0 0.6 by 0 0.6 by itself, so we square it and yes, it turns out to be 0 0.36. So we know that 0 0.36 or 36 hundredths is a perfect square. So it, because it is, now we need to draw a square to represent the area and indicate the side length. So because it's 36 hundredths, let's start by getting a hundredths grid. So here we have a hundredths grid. Now we just have to represent a 0 0.36 as a square. So here you can see the square that I've represented in here um, is 36 because we've got 6 along that side and 6 along that side. So we know it, that we've got 36 hundredths, 36 out of 100 represented, and each side length is going to be 0 0.6 along there and 0 0.6 along the bottom side. Every side, because it's a square, is going to be 6 tenths. 6, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 out of 10. 6 tenths. And the the top as well, each side of the square. So we determined if it was a perfect square by finding a rational number, that it was its square root, and we were able to draw the square to represent the area. So the area in here represents 0 0.36 or 36 hundredths.